Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to root your Galaxy Note 3. This will actually work on many different variants. So right now I have T-Mobile, Sprint, Canada, Korea, China, International Exynos, and International Qualcomm. There is no root exploit for AT&T or Verizon yet. That will come soon, but this method should work on AT&T and Verizon, hopefully, um, I will add all the information in the description of the video if you have an AT&T or Verizon model, but hopefully this will work. This method is simple. This is by far the easiest method to root your device. It'll take maybe five minutes, if that. But first of all, let's go ahead and get our computer ready. So you need to download a file real quick. So go ahead and just click on the link in the description of the video. You're going to go ahead and just see a list of uh, download files for various devices. Of course, you need to make sure you pick the right one. I do want to give a huge thanks to Chainfire for this. Great work by him. He always does amazing work with his root exploits. So, again, be sure to uh, give him a shout out and thank him. Anyways, you'll see a bunch of downloads. Find the right one. I have the Sprint variant, so the SM9 and N900P. So I'm going to click on this download. It'll be a zip file. So go ahead and click on it. Download your correct variant. Now, if you go ahead and go to your downloads folder or wherever, you will see this file that you just downloaded. It'll be a zip file. So what I recommend doing is go ahead and go to your desktop, which is where I'm at, and go ahead and hit New Folder and make a folder on your desktop. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to just call it N3 Root, just like that, just so you know exactly what's in the files. But anyways, double click on the zip file and inside you will see three files that are right here. So these three files are what we need. So highlight all three of them, make sure you grab all three, and I'm just gonna transfer them into that folder we just created. So it'll put it, us into that Note 3 root folder that we have, and open that up, and inside are the files. So let's get it ready. Do, go ahead and right click on Odin 3v 1.85 and hit Run as Administrator. Doing so is going to bring up user account control, hit Yes, and it will open up Odin. So this is Odin, this is used to flash various tar files and uh, basically root your device. So once you do that, go ahead and press the PDA button that's in Odin. Doing so should take you to uh, hopefully your desktop. Go ahead and go to your desktop and find that N3 root folder that we just made. Inside of it should be a tar file or an MD5 file that you'll see, that CF auto root file. Double click on it and it should get thrown right down here into the PDA slot. Make sure you obviously select the right file. Make sure that uh, that box is checked. You only want auto reboot checked up here, but now our PC is ready to go. So we're done here. Now we need to go back to our phone. So now that we have the computer all set, we are going to just need to power off our device. Once the device is fully shut off, we need to get into something called download mode or Odin mode. This is what needs to be done to uh, flash something with Odin. So to do so, press and hold volume down, the home button, and power button all at the same time. Just press and hold all three of them. Keep it held down. Um, and it says warning a custom OS can cause problems, etc. Hit volume up to continue. I do want to make a quick disclaimer that uh, I am, of course, not liable if anything does mess up. Uh, rooting your phone can void warranties, all that good stuff. There's always risks. Uh, very unlikely that you're going to get a brick device, but again, there's always risks that it could happen. Uh, just make sure you follow uh, my instructions carefully and you should be good to go. So now, once you are in download mode, you can go ahead and plug your device into your computer. So just make sure you plug it on in. All right, and once you plug your device into your computer, you should see a yellow box pop up. It should say COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is, but just make sure it does have a yellow box pop up. Uh, that lets you know that Odin does recognize your device. So, we are ready to go. That is the, all you need to do, preliminary steps to get things going. Now all you have to do is press the start button. You will see a progress bar in Odin up here in the upper left hand corner. And I believe you should see a blue uh, progress bar on your phone as well. So you'll see there's that progress bar. It says recovery up there. It is now just running through. It shouldn't take long at all actually. And, and then it should automatically reboot your device, I believe. It says reset pass. Mine took 13 seconds, so just to give you a quick time frame, um, it's going to go ahead and boot you into this custom recovery, which will actually root your device, uh, which is fantastic. So it says rebooting in 10 seconds, so it's going to sit here for 10 seconds and then reboot the device automatically. So I'm going to let it boot up, and I'll be back once it is done. 
While it's booting up, I do want to make a quick note that if for any reason your computer does not recognize your device, troubleshooting steps are to be try a different USB port, try rebooting your, uh, your computer, try a different cable if you have one. Those are the main steps. If you still can't get it to go, you might want to just try using a different computer. As you can see, I had no issues whatsoever doing it on mine, and I've heard many other people have no issues at all with it Odin recognizing your device. So, now that our phone's booted back up, go ahead and go to the app drawer, and you will see Super SU right there. By the way, you can actually unplug your device once Odin already says pass. You do not need it plugged in anymore, but you can actually go to the Super SU app, uh, open it on up, no apps configured, logs, settings, etc., and that's it. You should be good to go. I'm going to install a quick root app and show you guys that I'm now rooted. All right, so I went ahead and installed an app called Root Checker. Uh, you can get it in the Play Store. It's just called Root Checker Basic. Um, all you have to do is actually just hit Verify Root Access. It'll allow it, uh, grant it super user permissions, and hit Grant. And it should say, Device has root access. There you go. I am now fully rooted on my Galaxy Note 3. You should be too if you followed this video correctly. If for any reason you run into problems, feel free to ask, just leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to me as well, so be sure to click that subscribe button. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.